The Islanders scored first, Butch Goring, but the Philadelphia Flyers came back with three in a row. Paul Holmgren on the lone power play of the night so far. Bob Kelly is first to the playoff. And then Bobby Clark, who assisted on the previous goal, put the Flyers up by two. The shots on goal were even. Islanders in Philadelphia each had ten shots at the net. Mike Bossy of the New York Islanders is here. And, uh, Mike, I'm sure there are going to be people saying the Islanders have their game that they wanted in Philadelphia, and maybe that explains the first period a little bit. But uh, if that was true, you wouldn't have gone 2-0 ahead of Boston and 2-0 ahead of, of Buffalo. What do you think was the problem for the Islanders in the first period? Well, I don't, I don't really think there was uh, that big a problem. We had our, our chances on the power play, and we didn't capitalize. And uh, all the goals that Philadelphia scored were scored from right in front of the net. So it's obvious that we're going to have to uh, clear out the men in front of the net and uh, get some more goals on the scoreboard. I'd like to talk about the success the Islanders have had on the road. Uh, Boston, Buffalo, and Philadelphia, maybe three of the toughest buildings in the league to win in. And uh, you don't expect a team to win the first two games of a playoff series away from home in those circumstances. Is there any one reason that you can pinpoint why the Islanders have, have gone so well away from home? Well, we had we had a real tough season this year, and uh, after the trade deadline, I think there were a lot of players who um, finally said to themselves, well, I'm here to stay this year. Because of the season we had last year and the loss to the Rangers, I think there were a lot of players who were thinking that uh, that was it, you know, that was the last time they were going to be seen in an Islander uniform. And uh, as it so happened, we, uh, we, we kept the same lineup right until March the 10th, and, and I think that's uh, what caused a lot of our problems. After March the 10th, we seemed to uh, get everything together, and, uh, you know, it's, it's shown since then. I mean, uh, we came into the playoffs, we were hot, and uh, we want to go all the way this year. You seem relaxed when you're playing, certainly uh, on the road and at home as well, but is there a feeling of, of relaxation that uh, these are games you're not expected to win, perhaps, and let's go out and perhaps take an advantage from that? Well, we put pressure on ourselves. We expect... We expect to win when we go, go out on the ice, and um, I don't think anybody in, in, in the room is relaxed. We're all nervous, we're all scared to lose, and I think that's what's been helping us since the start of the playoffs. Pat Quinn said this may not be a series that the purists will like, uh, others may. You've been described, and I guess you've described yourself as a purist kind of hockey player. Of the four periods that have been played so far, your uh, opinion on what they've been as far as hockey and as far as the things that may not go hand in hand with good hockey? Well, I, I've said in the past I think I've, I've uh, made myself clear on what I think hockey should be and uh, you know I think that uh, the first four periods of this series have been have been great hockey it's been aggressive it's been hard check there's been hard checks I mean I, I have something to show for it and, and you know I was there to get what I got but uh, you know I've put pressure on myself by saying what I have said and uh, you know I'm willing to stand up to the pressure that I have put on myself. Mike Bossy has seven goals in 11 playoff games. The Islanders, as a team, have played 16. He missed five with a jammed thumb, so the seven goals uh, look a little better than uh, they might ordinarily because of the 11 games he's played. Thank you very much, Mike, for your time in the first intermission with the Islanders trailing the Philadelphia Flyers 3-1. Stanley Cup 80 continues in just a moment.